You're listening to a Skewed Orbit original podcast. Time, weather, and... Oh, lucky number seven, July. It's July. It's July. Every month, I feel like we made it. Another one. I'm so excited for the month of July. I'm typ- excuse me. I'm typically. Um, I found this season that I love summer. I have never. I'm always kind of like a spring and fall gal, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have been sleeping on the magic of summer. Now this may be now because I have children, right? That it's like, I'm sure I loved summer, but it's like since college, right? When you actually got to like feeling as though it's like, oh, this is this respite. Otherwise you're just like, oh, this is adulthood and we just work all the time. Um, And so that's really what I want to focus on today. This isn't really a message of like really high energies. This is really, I feel like July, like indulge in earthly pleasures. Like we have these long days. We just went through the summer solstice. And so, you know, it's like, that's the longest day of the year. And so now it's when it's going to start to go the other way. And I don't want us to get to November or December. And it's like these, you know, it gets dark so early and this, like, I want, like, let's enjoy it. This is a month of like being present. Like I'm almost looking for like hyper presence. What can this month teach you and allow you to move through where we just choose to be fully present. And, you know, I think this is really a, a bridge month. Like I've been talking about, you know, June and August or June, July and August is kind of like this bridge in September. We're kind of in a whole new ball game, but I feel like it's really this beautiful tipping point Um, For some of you that may be between like even identities as far as like how you've identified in the world, how you've positioned yourself in the world and it's like, boom, you're kind of off to this new journey and sense of self and maybe some of you that's, okay, we're taking this relationship to the next level, boom, and then you're into it or, you know, okay, we finally got pregnant and here we go or I got that job. Like, and it, it feels, there's something really, um, almost like childlike about July. There's this sense of wonder that can be captured that without sounding dramatic, like your life never will be the same. And all of this work that we've been doing, all of this, you know, whether it's personal work on yourself or growth, letting go of relationships, all of this stuff that I talk about, all this stuff that we've been doing, specifically this year, this year has really been, this is a bridge year from everything that we've done before and boom, everything that comes after this. This is a really, really beautiful, tough year. But we have finally reached this tipping point where, you know, we're past the middle of the year. And so it's like this is that integration fully into who it is that we're becoming and what we're bringing into our life and what we're saying yes to. And that's so exciting. Like, it's, you know, at least if you're here in the States, it's probably warm and there's longer days and the sun is out and there's barbecues and there's, you know, more get togethers and you may feel like you have more energy and there's this true sense of aliveness in a way, even fully beyond like spring. There's this sense of like long days and the sun and popsicles and hot dogs and like some of you are vegan and being like, oh God, absolutely not. But uh, metaphor, Um, right? And so I just, that's really my big call to action for you is sitting in deeply this sense of wonderment and presence that Yes, it's a time to take action. Like you may be like, oh, Rachel's going to take action on some of these things. Like I think it's a beautiful energy for that, for sure. I think there's a lot of 
you know, setting up for what's coming for sure. So I think that it's a really beautiful energy to participate in that. But I think also if you don't feel like taking any action, if there isn't any action to take, like you're also right on time. I think that it's just, it's almost in a way where like, especially for adults, like summer is offering us a, another go at summer. Does that make sense? Meaning like when you were little, there was probably so much more enjoyment of like, oh, it's summer and it's this and it's that. It's like, how can you recreate that for yourself and just enjoy? It's it's this time to be here that is offering us full enjoyment. That's great. That's a great message. <laughs> I feel like so often it's been like, okay, we're working through this thing or we're working through this thing. Like there is this window to just indulge and enjoy. And so that's what we're going to do. That's it. That's really all I got for you. It's really, it's really that simple. So I am so excited for each and every one of you of what you're going to move through this summer, what you're going to see, what you're going to do. I think it's such a beautiful, fun energy and yes to all of like the things that we're letting go of and what we're moving through and shedding. And I, again, all of those things exist. Any of those the astrological or your higher self, all of those things are here in the pot. But I feel like what's really sitting above us is like, just enjoy it. Just enjoy it. There's so many more time and and times and events and issues and things that are going to come up through the rest of the year that it's like, can you just enjoy a sunny day? If it's a little hot, throw some sunscreen on, go outside and just sit in the grass and eat some watermelon and just relax and enjoying everything that is here because all is illuminated and everything is here and everything is in perfect balance right now. Even the things that feel unbalanced, but it's like the things that are here for you, the things that are here for you to observe, to become aware of, to come online to, to accept, to let go of, all of those things are perfectly in alignment right now. So you don't have to make any big decisions if you don't want to. Just let's allow this month to be here for us and to move through it. It's a really beautiful time. A couple of quick things, friends. Not too much, not too much happening. I am excited though. The rest of this month on the Rachel LaForce show, I have a three part series coming at you. It's called It's Yours, the business of leveling up and overcoming self-sabotage that has so many great bonus features over on my Substack. I would love for you guys to join me over there. I have a sub stack just in general for Rachel LaForce that will be linked here in the newsletter. You can also join for free the Rachel LaForce Show sub stack. You can also join us for $9.99 a month. I know. Oh my gosh, so affordable. $9.99 a month. And you can join us over there. There's so many bonus features every single week that go along with the podcast episodes. Sometimes they're just bonus extra podcast episodes in full. There are card reads, energy reads, articles, blogs that I write. Uh, journal prompts, uh, guided meditations, so many bonus offerings that are there just for $9.99 a month. It's so great. So I highly encourage you join me over there, really building a big community over there. Uh, we're going to be doing live Q and A's and we're doing live energy readings where you guys can participate. We can do, um, yeah, energy reads together, guided meditations where we come out, we talk about what we've seen, what we've learned. I always love uh, group gatherings because typically I feel like whoever has ended up in that spot at that time, it's because we all needed to be there. So a lot of times those are collective lessons for all of us. So it's always like bonus, bonus, bonus. Cool. Uh, if you haven't, go check out Tired Mom on YouTube. Mama made a little half hour comedy for you. And I'd love for you to go check that out. If you don't want to watch it on YouTube, <laughs> lucky for you, it's available on all audio platforms. So you can just listen to it on your summer drives. You can listen to it to and from work on the treadmill, all those things. I would love for you to check that out. Those links are here as well. That's kind of it. We uh, are opening up our new studio space here in Atlanta in August, early September. So stay tuned for all of that. If you're in the Atlanta area, we are going to have a ton of events for all of the rest of the year. I'm so excited for that. We've got movement on a comedy club that we're going to be opening. So there's going to be so much coming into fruition that I'm so excited to share with each and every one of you. But for now, just go effing enjoy yourself. All right, get out of here. Love you, mean it. Time, weather, and...